PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Pitch Tools, how are you all going today? Another beautiful day here in paradise, you can see it's a little bit overcast over the top here. I'm filming outside today guys, so you might hear the traffic going past on the road. What I'm on about today guys is, you know, that me, I'm out and about in the truck all the time. And what I wanted to know was, if I broke a bolt somewhere on the side of the road like this, if you have a breakdown on the side of the road in your truck or in your four-wheel drive or whatever, and you just need to do a bit of welding to get you out of a hole, I wonder if you could just weld with your jumper leads and your car batteries. Anyway guys, that's what I'm up to today. I'm going to see if I can weld these two things together just with my car batteries on the side of the road. hee -haw! Anyway guys, same as usual. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below and let's get into it, eh? So I've just got my truck batteries here guys. Nothing special, just two batteries as normal. So we're quite noisy here today because I'm working out on the road guys, so I hope you can still hear me. So we've just got the normal two batteries here guys, nothing flash. Actually what this truck does is, this is a big 12 watt battery and this is a little 12 watt battery. What it does is it starts on uh, 24 and then clicks back to 12 for some reason, something to do with the computer control bullshit on this thing. Anyway, so what we're doing is we haven't got two big batteries to weld with, we've only got one big one and a little one. So we'll try and weld this and see how we go. <laughs> right, we'll just grab the jumper leads out of the box there, guys. As you can see, just the old jumpers here. Chuck them down there, Pete. So what we'll do here, guys, is use the whole 24 volts. So we'll go positive there. Negative here. Alrighty, Odie, Coyote. Now let's see if we can find a welding rod. Right, so what I've got here, guys, is two different size welding rods. I don't know which one will work. In fact, I don't know if either one of them will work. This is a 1.6, and this is a 2.5, or 2.4, I think it is. So we'll give both of them a crack, and we'll see if we can actually weld these bolts together. Right, let's give it a go. Let's give it a crack, Nigel. Hey, what can go wrong? <laughs> Now this is not very scientific guys, as you can see. I just want to see if it'll work. So for instance, say we broke our axle or something, or we needed just to weld a couple of bolts together. Will it work? I've got my doubts somehow. Trouble is with the jumper leads, I don't think I can get a really good contact on them. Let's try that, we'll try it with a little rod first guys. See how we go. Sparks. There we go, and guys, can we get it to Stephen Stark? Like I say, we haven't got really good power on this. Must take a bit more than I thought, guys. Maybe the rod's too small. We'll try a bigger rod, guys. It's really hard trying to get a reasonable contact with these jumper leads. Let's have a go. See, we're not getting contact there, guys. I'll try another way. Looking good. <laughs> that quite surprised me actually. See how we're having trouble getting the contact through there. Oh, it's the jumper leads here, guys. Can you see that on the jumper leads? It's not holding it properly. If I go like this, I don't know why you should do it, but see that? So it's the jumper lead contact. So what I'll do is I'll get a uh, electrode holder and I'll just clip it on with the jumper leads. 
So this is just an old electrode holder guys, it's just got the wire hanging out the end of it. So if I put that wire on there, like so. Grab the old electrode so it makes it a reasonable contact. Like that, and hopefully we should be able to weld. I reckon guys, blind man will be pleased to see it. <laughs> well it is welded sort of guys. Let's try and clean the slag off it a little bit. Remember we're doing this out in the bush guys. <laughs> So guys, would I lay my life on it? Probably not, but if it were to get you out of a hole, probably. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it because I don't think it's very good for your batteries, but uh, I just thought the other day while I was driving along in the boondocks if something happened, I wonder if I could just weld something up myself. And there you go. Like I say, it doesn't look pretty, but it might just get you home. Anyway guys, enough bullshit for the day. Same as usual, like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below, we can have a bit of a yarn, you might have a bit better idea than what I'm doing. And we'll see you next time guys. This is one ugly well, Pete. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> See you guys. Pete's tools.com.com.com.